news. So hello fellow wargamers. I'd like to show you how to make uh, the asteroids for the game Star Wars X-Wing. And now I will show you uh, the necessary equipment needed for the project. First off, uh, everything's laying on this uh, piece right here. Uh, it's uh, actually perspex, so uh, people use it for glass or other reasons. Um, about any size will do. I bought a piece uh, of 30 by 40 centimeters, but uh, of course, as I said, any size will do. A, a plastic rod or perspex rod, uh, the diameters are 5 millimeters. Uh, in hindsight, hindsight I would, would have used uh, 6 millimeters, but 5 uh, millimeters will do fine. Uh, of course, uh, uh, super glue. I used Zapper Kicker. Uh, it's an uh, accelerator, so uh, your super glue will uh, easily bind. Of course, it's not necessary. You can wait, of course. Uh, montage kit. It's uh, just a kit that dries up transparent. Um, rare earth magnets. Uh, the diameters of those are six millimeters, so that's hence the uh, six millimeter. Uh, perspex rod. Of course you will need your own uh, cardboard cutout pieces from the game itself, the Star Wars X-Wing miniatures uh, core set. A pencil or pen, anything will do. Some metal rods to create the smaller asteroids, uh, the, the smaller pieces that are attached to the big asteroid. Some, smine, uh, some uh, small fine files. Um, a, a small drill, you can get them at uh, any hobby uh, hobby shop. Then some bigger drills, it's important that for the uh, stone you get a stone drill. Uh, this is uh, the 5mm, it should, uh, should be the same size as the, the rod you order. And a wood drill for the perspex, this one is 6mm because my uh, magnets are and it's gonna put a hole in the perspex plate. A jigsaw is needed to cut out the perspex. Uh, a tong to, to cut out the, the, the metal rods and last but almost last but not least uh, a handsaw, a fine handsaw to cut the rod with and the most important part of course for the asteroid itself uh, Lava rocks. Uh, I chose these because you could make them uh, out of styrofoam, but lava rocks, as you can see here, I bought a whole bunch of them, uh, represent uh, asteroids themselves. And you don't really have to do much about them to make them look awesome. Uh, I bought these. Uh, uh, so you want to begin with the cardboard. Lay it on the perspex plate. Um, be mindful to not take the protection layer off. Um, yeah, it will protect the, the, the perspex itself when you use your saw on it. So do not remove it until you're finished with the drilling part and the sawing. Of course, out, outline uh, the, the templates with a pen. And of course, use a jigsaw to cut it out. Um, then you will basically get a cutout like this, which will then look something like this after the hole has been drilled in it. Uh, after I cut out the perspex plate, uh, I took some montage kit right here um, and smeared it uh, over the top of the cardboard layer. Now, what I noticed is that you don't have to uh, use a very thick layer. Just make it as uh, thin as you can. Use a cardboard or any type of plastic to smear mo most part of it off. And then of course stick the plastic uh, perspex onto the plate and let it dry for quite some time. Um, also the hole drilled in the middle uh, will be filled with the magnets as shown here. You can fill the magnet in 
and be mindful of the position of the magnet that later on if you try to fit the other one on that it will fit on nicely then let's uh, cut some plastic uh, rods just various sizes I didn't really measure those uh, and stick the magnets on the bottom of them and then as you can see here they snap right on um, the thing with mine is I didn't really uh, make the uh, uh, rods that uh, straight so as you can see it comes in an angle it's not really that big of a deal but you can turn them around and they're a bit more straight but if you want that uh, to look just a bit nicer um, then you can uh, file them down okay after that you take the lava rocks um, as you can see here in the bottom there's a hole drilled I used the stone uh, drill for that drill bit um, at some places it's uh, really easy to, to drill also here you have to be uh, very gentle with the uh, with the drilling because the, the rocks are not that strong um, the hole here yeah it, it was easy to drill at some parts but other parts are just uh, uh, very thick and it, it, it's harder to drill through just uh, pick any rock you like um, as you can already see here I have put some smaller rocks on top of it uh, what I did here was just uh, take a small rod and um, drill a, a hole in in the rock because of course it has uh, many of those uh, smaller holes inside of it just pick any of those holes and take a drill bit and, and drill uh, a, a quite deeper hole in it fill it with a rod like this and then uh, just uh, glue it together when it's uh, tight you can uh, cut the rod of course and place a smaller bit upon it also in the smaller bit you drill a hole and then uh, stick them together in the end it will look something like this so you can what I tried uh, on my asteroids is that the, 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 the rods do create the feeling that, uh, that they're all floating a bit apart from each other but I don't want the rods to show Okay, so this is almost the final look of the asteroid. I didn't glue it together just yet because I still want to paint my uh, asteroid. Uh, so it's not that snug uh, fit just yet. Um, but the, uh, the end product will look quite something like this. Um, you will be able to pick them off because it's easier for the game that way. So you'll still have the base template to measure the uh, ships on. Uh, but for the awesome look, of course, you can put the uh, asteroid right back on there. Um, just the final step uh, I will be showing you is the painting job on the asteroids. So here we are with the final result. Um, I took the rocks and used a simple dry brushing technique. Um, I used the following colors. Actually, it's best to start with some rusty color. I used the coat d'arms rust. But you could also use just a uh, uh, darkish brown, reddish brown, I know, from Games Workshop or some other company. Um, next up, uh, take some uh, orange, uh, some deep orange color. And uh, you, you can use the rust color on, on the complete uh, asteroid. And use the orange color a bit more towards the bottom of the asteroid. Just uh, uh, don't don't fully uh, dry brush your whole uh, uh, asteroid, but just here and there, and finish off uh, with some astronomical gray, and it will look something like this. As you can see, the the grayish part is on top, also not everywhere, and there are some spots orange, but not not too bright. Just very simple. Keep it simple because the rocks usually already have uh, great color in them themselves. But just a touch of uh, with the brush so that it will look more natural in your game. And the finished product will look something like this.
Well, I still have to glue them in. That's uh, the last step. I just glue them on the rods. Because of course I won't be painting them on the rods because there might be some paint on the rods. And then you have a finished asteroid.